Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. These are troubling days and they get more troubling day after day, even hour after hour. Uh, the war in Ukraine with its devastation and all the footage we're seeing. I was in Ukraine several years ago visiting Bishop Sergei Mishevsky, the bishop of our partner or emerging partner. He'd been trained at Fort Wayne, indeed 20 some years previously in the so-called Russia Project and had been elected in that small partner church. And we're working toward fellowship with them and the church has suffered great difficulties in Ukraine, unspeakable really, and then on top of that to face this devastation. The Crimea had already fallen and there was skirmishing and fighting in the east of the country. In fact, they requested our help in establishing or at least uh, working to provide chaplains to the military in Ukraine. Who would have believed then that just a few years later they would be asking us for helmets and flak jackets for their pastors to keep them safe as they made their rounds to give communion to terrified parishioners. And we are providing as much help as we possibly can. You can support the Ukrainian effort by going to lcms.org. We have a whole lot of experience in disaster and calamity, even war. And these refugees coming out are contacting our Lutheran partners in Romania, in Germany, in the Czech Republic, in Lithuania, Latvia, and elsewhere. My dear friends, the Lord is in his heavens. It is his world. In him we live and move and have our being. Indeed, evil happens in this world because of the will of men. And yet the Lord keeps a leash on it. He lets it go only so far. Why he does so is within his purview and his wisdom. But we can be sure that this too will work for good in myriad ways, indeed is working for good. Waking our Western world, which is denying the faith, waking them again to realize that eternal things are really important. Today at the LCMS headquarters, we prayed the litany. It's a prayer that is a thousand years old. It was 500 years old already when Luther translated it from Latin to German. And it's in our hymnals, page 288 of the Lutheran Service Book. I want to pray just a part of it with you today. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death, good Lord, deliver us. To rule and govern your holy Christian church, preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and sustain them in holy living. Put an end to all schisms and causes of offense. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. And put down Satan under our feet, Send faithful laborers into your harvest and accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. And in these very difficult days, I wish to leave you with just one verse. Mordecai said to Esther, who knows? whether or not you have been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. This is our time. This is the time for us to bear witness to Christ and help those in need. Join me in constant prayer and love for our friends in Ukraine and also our two Russian partner churches. They all need it. In the name of Christ, amen.